Good morning, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Uh, this uh, video I'm posting now is a, in response to maybe five or ten emails. I've had people really fascinated with my work and my equipment, and especially my one-inch Type C one-inch machine that you see running right now. Uh, I had a guy ask me, could you possibly run color bars? I'd like to see how you set this up. And they wanted to know how you set a one-inch machine up and how it looks on a scope and that type of thing. They want to know the broadcast end of it. Okay, let me uh, give you guys a little rundown. What you're seeing right now is a, it's a professional one-inch uh, color bar test tape. That's how you set up your machine for color bars and video signal through the machine. Video signal through the machine is very, very important so you can get the optimal transfer from a one inch tape such as this. Now that's a color bar tone tape. Uh, it's factory tape that you can set your machines up so you can get the proper color balances and audio and all that kind of stuff. When you have a one inch machine, you do have to know how to set these up. As you can see, there's a lot of cards in the bottom of this unit. You need to know how to set up the, uh, the chroma and the balances and the shift. There's a lot of different things in audio. You have to know how to set up each one of these cards. Recommend you having a service manual if you ever get one of these machines. This is a very complicated piece of equipment. You do need to have broadcasting and engineering skills to run one of these. Highly recommended. If you're in television and you're in broadcasting and you use this type of stuff, um, and you're very interested in the old uh, broadcast decks, uh, highly recommended you learn as much as you can. Television broadcasting equipment is very, very complicated. And if you haven't been doing it like for 30 years, such as myself, or an electronic technician such as myself, you're not quite going to understand how to use one of these machines. But as you can see, it's a very complicated machine. All right, so we're running a color bar test tape. As you can see, and it's a color bar test tape with tone, which is audio level, okay? So let me walk over to the scope and show you. Now, as you see, that's running. And as you come over to the monitor, look at the beautiful color lockup on that. That's, that's fantastic. That's where your color bars, the lockup on your color bars should look just like that. That's how it should look. And if you look on your scope, you got your stair step of color bars. See all that? And the top of the stair step of the scope should be in the 100%. That's about where you want, that's exactly where you should be. That tells you you set your video levels to the proper level. You got your brightness, your contrast, your color levels, and all that. That's done individually on the cards on the machine. Uh, if you don't know how to set that up, you need to be in a broadcast environment. Like if you're going to play one of these units and you don't have the time-based corrector and all the scopes to do a proper transfer, you may not get the best quality of the playback. That's why I highly recommend when people send me stuff, especially one-inch tapes or anything broadcast, I do it in my studio environment because I have the scopes, I have the time-based corrector, I have everything that you need to run broadcast electronics. As you can see, we really do set our machines up to spec. It's the best quality transfer you can get. On top of it, me rebuilding and restoring my machines improves the video image greatly. Sort of like the machines when they were brand new. That's the whole idea. Restore the video machines like they were new, and then you'll get playback like this when you start getting them in a studio environment so you have good playback. And as you can see on the small monitor there, this is how you set up a color bar test tape on a machine when you're running a one inch type C format. Very, very complicated. It's, you do have to have some skills in electronics to know how to one, run one of these. And having a television broadcasting time-based corrector makes it even easier to get the best broadcast quality level out of these tapes. This is a very, very expensive unit. These things were very expensive in their day. They lasted through the 80s and mid-90s before they were phased out. And when digital television came around, you know, tape went bye-bye. And unfortunately, you got people who have tapes sitting around that need them converted, and you have to have this machine to do it. But here at Obsolete Video Services, we're able to do that because I've been doing video broadcast, electronic, transferring, you name it, for over 30 years. So this is why I designed my home studio like this. So somebody brings me a videotape on the fly, 
I could show it to them. I could get it 100% perfect uh, in transfer level, so that way the video level and the saturation and the color and everything looks as good as it was recorded. And then we could capture the ProRes or a PC file, whatever needs to be done. You know, I enjoy doing this. I've been doing this for over 30 years, but the best part about it is how many people you know in, your, in their living room has a broadcast one-inch broadcast television deck? I don't think many people, you know many people to do. Um, that's why Obsolete Video Services is compacting its system. Basically what I'm doing is I'm building a system to handle obsolete video formats, but I'm making it compact. See how majority of the hardware is in this small little rack? And then I have the monitor up on top for the 4x3 monitoring of the video. I got the scope right there. I got a ProRes recorder. Then I can have a computer on the side. And then anything that, that I plug into those, uh, those um, uh, BNC connectors on the front and I could pipe into the switcher, we could run any external video decks into the system to do a capture. I mean, I designed this system specifically for obsolete video transfers. When I get a machine and I rebuild a machine and it's something, uh, somebody contacts me for a video transfer, I'm able to do it on the spot here or the other two locations that I have uh, where I run my quad two inch tapes and other formats because I do have two other locations I work out of as well. My dream is to have everything in one machine and have the ultimate studio that people could come into and come with me on something historic and I could recover the actual footage. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.